I'm going to explain to you how you need to um, press a plant. And I have two fine specimens here. And we'll see how we would put these on a uh, sheet to mount them. Now here are some completed examples. This is a bad example because it has two separate pieces. A piece goes off the edge and I don't see any flowers or fruit. So this is not the way you want your specimens to look. This is an example of how to deal with a big specimen. You can see that all of it stays on the sheet, barely, but it's there. And they bent or broken the stem so that it all fits on the sheet. Notice too that they've collected some of the roots. So flowering plant all the way to the roots and that they have removed most of the soil, if not all. This is an example of a plant that is, the flowers have been pressed, very carefully laid out all the leaves so that they are nice and flat and it's gone down to the roots but didn't include the roots. Here's another example flower here. Now this is not the best because this should not overlap with the leaves. It's a kind of a challenge sometimes, but it's what you need to do. And again, this is a very big specimen in terms of lots of material. And it's relatively nice to spread out, except you'll notice that the stems are so thick that the leaves are not pressed very well. And it does have some, these were once flowers, um, looks like they've lost most of their petals. So that's kind of what we're aiming for. And again, this one has nice clean roots on it and it stays on the whole sheet. And down here, flush, lower left corner, is the label and that's exactly what we want to see. So the first thing we want to do is get a, a plant press. These are numbered, so presses one through three I would like the Monday Lab to use and four through four and five I would like the Tuesday lab to use. These are held together by uh, straps that are under tension so the first thing to do is release that and when you take the cover off you'll notice that the numbers are up in the upper left hand corner and these are in a particular order. There are always two cardboard pieces and you always want to flip them completely over then two pieces of blotter, and this, or, or actually one, there are always two pieces of cardboard on the top and on the very bottom, otherwise there's only one piece. Then a piece of blotter paper, and note that the blotter paper is different than the paper that you use to mount on. This is much thinner, this is much stiffer. Don't use this to mount your plants. Be sure you're using the right thing. And then there are a couple sheets of newspaper. Your plant goes between the newspaper sheets. And in fact, I'll go down to the second one because I'm going to do two plants. So you want to go down as far as you need to and then build on top. And once you put them in the plant press, you don't want to be twisting your plants anymore. So take some off, build it, and then fill it in. If you want to put a little tag, like a post-it note with a color over the edge to show where yours are, that's fine too. So here's the first specimen. And it might help to have two people, but I'm going to try to make sure that all of these leaves are separate and not underneath. And I can do that carefully. By watching what happens when I lay this on top and positioning everything. And it is all right. In fact, it's a good idea to turn some leaves uh, right side up or, or wrong side up, bottom side up. And working with a friend helps too on this because sometimes takes two people, flatten that out, 
peek to see did I did I do all right. Reposition a little bit. Hold it down. Add the blotter paper. Add the cardboard. And now that I've got it kind of flattened, I want to add a little note, a little piece of paper that says who did this and uh, the date, anything you want to remember about the plant, because you probably won't remember when you pull it back out. So you should put your name, the date, where you got it, and if you make an ID before you press it, which I strongly suggest, then put that ID on there as well. The paper should be plain white and, if at all possible, not touch the plant. So then I build my sandwich some more. Now this is going to be more of a challenge because there's a lot more greenery and it just may not be possible to get every leaf independent. And what I'm going to have to do down here, and I would take more of the soil off if I were actually going to mount it, is to bend this up. Keeping in mind, too, that we're going to need to put a label down here in the corner, so you want to arrange the plant so there's going to be room for that. And trying to make sure... And I would do this more carefully if I were going to press the plant to mount and keep. And then you want to carefully square everything up. Put the first strap on and just snug it a little bit. And then strap on and now you get a little exercise very little pull these as tight as you can and as the plants dry these will loosen so you want to come back in and tighten them probably every day it should take about a week unless it's very humid and you should have pressed plants that you can mount <coughs> 